never in a million years would I have thought that I would have a five figure stock portfolio. Now let's get into the video. Hey, what's up YouTube, it's Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. I know a lot of you guys are wondering what happened to Zeke the Crypto Miner, but I will explain why I changed the channel name in a future video, so go ahead and subscribe so you guys can keep up to date with this new channel. So, um, like I said when I opened the channel up, I now have a five-figure Robinhood stock portfolio that I've been filling month after month, week after week with dividend stocks. Right now, um, on the day, I'm down 0.5%, so down $50. Had a pretty solid week. So I'm up $131, 1.3%. Um, the last month, up 1.2%. And the last three months, I'm up 2.81%. So up $280, bucks. not too bad, not too bad. Um, all time, I'm up 13.3%, a little over $1,000, $1,200. Now, growing up, um, I never heard anything about stocks. Uh, even though high school, they never taught me anything about stocks. Even throughout college, I never heard anything about stocks. But once I found Robinhood and that I was able to buy and sell stocks straight from my phone, I downloaded the app and I started buying small little stocks, not really knowing what I was doing. And I started to educate myself on building a great portfolio which leads me to where i am today i might be the only family member in my entire family that started buying stocks so i'm pretty much the first in my generation uh, i've been teaching my brother some about stocks and he's been grabbing some here and there but as in my father teach me about stocks and my mother teaching me about stocks i never had anyone in my life to, uh, to really teach me about stocks. That's the kind of childhood I have. That's how I was raised, that's how I was growing up. No one really knew about this kind of stuff. So I've been teaching myself and through the help of YouTube and channels like this, I've been able to steadily grow my account by adding $200 every single week and buying stocks. But last week, I bought $800 worth of stock to get my account to one to $10,260. $276. So I now have a five-figure account. So you guys already know what my next goal is, and it is to have a six-figure stock portfolio. So I'm one-tenth of the way there. So um, if you guys are wondering what did I buy with my $800, if let's go over to my history, filter in orders. So on October 18th, I bought a quite a few stocks, okay? Let me just breeze through these right quick and then I will show you guys my entire portfolio. So right here, I bought one stock of Coca-Cola, uh, $75 worth of SPDR, uh, two stocks. NRZ, I bought eight shares for $123. SPHD, five shares for $210. AGNC, 10 shares for $164. AT&T, four shares for $152. I bought another share of AGNC for $16.41. And my last one that I bought was Ford for $9.19. Uh, one that all of these share in common is that they're all dividend paying stocks. So I do have a dividend portfolio. Most of my $10,000 are affiliated with dividends and that's how I've been growing my account slowly over time and adding it right back into my account, eventually getting me to $10,000. Now, before I show you guys my entire stock portfolio, it's going to take a little while. So I might get a little hungry while I'm editing this. So speaking of hunger, it leads right into my next segment. I appreciate it. Hey, what's up guys? When I wanna take a break from day trading or editing these long YouTube videos and I get very hungry, I order from Grubhub. It's a food delivery service and they deliver straight to your door. They have many restaurants in your surrounding areas where they can deliver food straight to your door if you don't feel like cooking. Now, 
If you swipe over to my perks, they have offers up to up to seven dollars off a free item or free delivery. But if you use the link down in the description, you will get twelve dollars off your first offer. Once again, if you use the link down in the description, you will get twelve dollars off your first offer. But anyways, I got to get back to editing. So let's get back into the video. Hey, we're back. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I really do use Grubhub. It takes me a lot longer to edit these videos now and using that is pretty simple. You just hit a couple clicks of the button and they deliver the food straight to your door in a matter of minutes. All right. So anyways, what you guys been ready for my $10,000 stock portfolio. All right. So starting off, I have AMD, 42 shares of AMD. Scrolling down, total return, I'm up 74%, $557, which really doesn't count for all the money I made from AMD, because AMD is the only company that I really keep up with. Like, I really, really keep up with AMD. I'm a user of their products, and I pay attention to their news. So speaking of that, I scroll down. My history, I have tons and tons and tons of option calls and option trades. I call buy, I call sell, and just over the last month, I do at least three on AMD a month because I pay attention to that stock and I buy and I sell and I buy and I sell and I uh, add that money into my account from my buys and my sell, but it doesn't go to my total overall return. So I, I would say I made around on AMD close to a thousand dollars um so 500 from just holding and 500 from trade options so, and I have other videos on showing you guys how to do trade options on Robinhood but uh that's for another day so my first stock that I really pay attention to is AMD my next one is Google it's treating me well so far I'm up 3.7 percent 44 dollars everyone know what Google is uh Google is not a dividend stock but Google is going to pretty much run the world in the future like a couple of these other companies and everyone know what Google is. It's a very good company. So I always wanted an alphabet stock, a Google stock. And when I was a, a when I first looked at Google stock at $1,244, I always dreamed of owning a Google stock. I was like, there's no way I would ever be able to afford a Google stock. But look at me now. I have a Google stock. All right. The next one is netflix netflix has been doing me dirty he has a very very bad day down six percent um netflix was one of my best ones and i actually had some profit from netflix i bought and i sold some so i hold about 822 dollars worth of netflix i'm down right now 134 dollars down 14 percent because it had a very bad day of negative six 0.5% down. So yeah, that, that's Netflix right there. So what I did, I sold some of my Netflix when I was actually up on profit and I bought Disney, Netflix biggest competitor. I don't really see Netflix biggest competitor being Hulu. Hulu doesn't even have a, a ticker symbol, but Disney is this biggest competitor. And Disney also have a 1.44 dividend. So right now I'm down 4% on Disney. But with all the Marvel movies coming out and then they're going to launch their own streaming platform, I really see Disney picking up, maybe doubling in the next five years. So I might grab some more Disney stock here and there. The next one is Facebook. Facebook is um, down right now $8.50. I hold $185 of Facebook, one share. I, it's not a dividend paying stock, but uh with the way things are looking facebook it's gonna take over the world <laughs> facebook is gonna take over the world as well all right the next one is waste management i love waste management okay if we look over the last five years of waste management everyone knows what waste management is it's the trash company uh recycling company with the wm the green and yellow one if you haven't seen it just take a step outside look behind any store you'll see a dumpster that's green that has wm on it that's waste management and they have a dividend payout of 2.09 percent and my total return so far is 33 dollars and 55 cents up seven percent and waste management has just been steadily growing over the last five years and with the population increasing and the trash will also increase so I, always, I always see waste management to be around along with waste management i have aqua 
WTR, water. Eh, everyone loves water, same thing. Uh, as waste management, the last five years, it's been going up a whole $139 worth of water, um, up 5.87%, and it also pays a dividend of 2.48. All right, so the next one I own is Facebook. I have, no. <laughs> All right, so the next one I have is Ford. Ford do have a high dividend yield of 7.84%, but over the last five years, Ford has been taking, tanking, 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 and I really think Ford is at its nearest bottom and it can only recover for here. I'm actually down right now on Ford, $1.39. I own four shares and it pays a dividend yield of 7.84%. The next one I own is AT&T, ticker symbol T. Um, I have 15 shares with $577 worth of equity. I'm up 6.35% and AT&T pays a dividend yield of 7.04%. I actually should have been, I'm going to get AT&T equity around to $1,000 because I want to have anything that have a dividend yield over seven. I want to have $1,000 worth of equity into that company. And right now, AT&T has been paying me dividends. Um, I will get my next dividend from AT&T on November 1st for $5.61. So November is looking, it's going to be a very good month for my dividend yield. All right, the next one up is Coca-Cola. The last five years is up 28%. Um, I have five shares, $273 worth of equity, up $7.13, 2%, and has a dividend yield of 3.29%, and that's Coca-Cola. The next one I have is a monthly paying dividend stock, which is a pair of share, uh, S&P 500, high dividend, low volume, uh, SPHD. I have $1,311 in equity, 31 shares. I'm up $13 total return, but I get paid every single month in dividends from SPHD. Uh, before I bought $210 worth of shares right there, as you guys can see, I would be getting a dividend payment of $3.80. So every month I've been getting more and more and more SPHD. And I begin a higher pay dividend payment every single month. I eventually want to get SPHD to 2000 really soon. And that is a dividend yield of 4.9% monthly paying dividend SPHD. The next one I have is AGNC. I have 53 shares. Um, this company has a dividend paying yield of 12.31%. So this is the first stock in my portfolio that you guys are seeing with a double digit dividend yield, 12.31%. I have $800 and 70, I have $870 worth of AGNC, 53 shares, and I'll be receiving a dividend payment pretty soon of $3.04. I'll be doing a dividend video for November, once it comes out, you guys will see how much I made this month in dividends. Um, the next one I have is SPYD. It's another S&P 500 high dividend ETF. I'm down $1, but it has a dividend yield of 4.87%, and I have an equity of $378, 10 shares. And I just bought some of that on October 18th as well, $75 worth. And that is a dividend paying stock, SPYD. The next one I have is Intel. I have one share of Intel. I'm up um, 6%, $2. I basically have this one share of Intel because it's a direct competitor to AMD. It's a direct competitor to AMD. And I just wanted to own one. So that's Intel. The next one I have is also a double digit paying stock, NRZ. Um, I have $1,224 worth of NRZ, 79 shares, um, total return, $40 just from holding, but if we take a look at the dividend yield, it's 4.07%, and if we look at my dividend payments, I receive a dividend of $35, October 31st, and I just got another one of $27 in July. So. That's well over the $40 I have lost from holding. So I'm actually in profit from NRZ and I will get another um, dividend payment the next quarter from NRZ for my full equity value of $1,224. I expect to have a lot more than that by then as well. 
Uh, the next one I have is VOO, it's Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. Uh, the last five years is up 59%, so it's a slow grower. The, the dividend yield is not high, it's 1.39% and I'm up 2% right now, $11.51. So I have two shares of this $549 worth of VOO. The next one I have is O, Realty Income. The last five years is up 82%. I'm up $29, 13%, and it has a dividend yield of 4.19%. I have three shares, $238.41 worth of equity, and that is O. The next one I have is CTRE, Care Trust. I have three shares, $72. I'm down 37 cents, and it has a dividend yield of 4.44%. So that is my full stock portfolio. All right, YouTube, as you guys can see, I have a $10,276 portfolio. Um, I never thought that when I started this channel, I would get to a five-figure portfolio. I, I, I want to get to a point where I would have more money invested into uh, stocks than I actually have into my savings account because in my savings account, it's pretty much just sitting there and I would rather invest it so I can make more money in the future so I can have residual income and be able to retire early, live on the beach somewhere, get paid every single month and buy some margaritas. But um, other than that, guys, welcome to the new channel, Dream Green, where dreams come true. And the green that we make is money. All right, so go ahead, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, comment down in the comment section what you think about my intro, what you think about Grubhub, what you think about the new channel. Just comment down in the comment section over anything. And also, don't forget to dream green. Peace.